when Jacob gets out and gets back on the road, how are things going to be different? And I'll tell you, dude, thank you for very much for asking. I have wondered this myself. You know, I, I've been, you know, the big thing, I've been smoking weed and doing late shows for 15 years. And some people, some of my fans come for those shows. They come because they like, they like it a little silly and a little loose. And I hadn't thought of it until Jacob went to Sober Living, but it is part of my brand that I don't know if I've, it, yeah, it is. It's part of my brand. I, I am a dude who's, who in the past has smoked weed and been open about it and taking mushrooms and been open about it. And I am just not going to be able to be that guy is all it is. Um, I won't be getting high before shows, during shows, at the club, at the hotel, at the condo. It's going to be sober weekend for both of us. So that's change number one. Um, I won't have to take extra care to look after him because I've never let him get his own hotel room. I always make him stay with me. Because I've been trying to shield him from trouble. Um, it just, and um, so that won't change. We, there will be a couple mandatory things for him that I will be involved with if he wants me to. But he's going to have to go to meetings on the weekend. It, before the shows, he'll have to go to some meetings. Um, and I will be more health conscious not doesn't mean drink eight glasses of water just do it's not just physical it's all around mental emotional physical uplifting health like just i want him to be selfish and that is not necessarily a bad word i want him to be selfish about what's good for him for the next however long so the focus will be on the road on him and how to create a healthy lifestyle and healthy habits for him. So that's it. That's all it'll be about is continuing that. And that's how it'll change. And I, people, a lot of people have asked me, are you bummed that you are going to have to stop being high all the time? Yeah, for sure. Super bummed. I love being high, but I think something you, you guys don't know about me. I'm not, I don't smoke weed before 8 PM. I don't wake and bake. I'm never high during the day. I get my shit done and I'm not a dude who's ever been tempted to do it. I, I ha it's weird. Like I am, I have all in a mentality in life, but I can also pull out. That sounds dirty. And it is. And I can also pull out when I need to. If I, I'm like, oh, all right, I'm done with this. I'm not going to do it anymore. So, but as long as I can go all in on it, I can't dabble. Like I couldn't just kind of smoke. I'm either smoking or I'm not smoking. But there isn't like, yeah, I'll just have a couple hits a week. That doesn't work for me. But I can quit something like that, but I can start it like that too. So is it going to bum me out? Yes. You know what will bum me out more is my son not being alive. So. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Now, I'm going to go hard in the paint until he gets out. Oh, yeah. I might even start smoking at 7.30 p.m. No, I'm going to, like, I'll have a couple mushroom trips, and, and I'm going to a concert this weekend, and I've already told him, man, you know, I'm, I'm going to have a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to be who I am with drugs uh, until you get out, just def not publicly. Like there won't be any more of me smoking weed on screen. There won't be any of that shit. Um, just one more mushroom show. And um, yeah, man, I, I I will go hard in the paint until he gets out, and then I'll go hard in the paint the other way when he when he gets out. And so that's it. There's zero there's z zero parts of me who thinks that. I could still smoke weed and be around him. That is not fair to him. And it's not full support 
for his sobriety and his in his health. So anything that gets in the way of that is a no go for me. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're gonna love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.